It all started with this comment. Can you show how to make this game with Buildbox? Of course I will show you. Right side you can see Buildbox preview window. On the left side, you can see coloring ball made with Unity. Purpose of this video is not show you how to clone games, but how to make different game mechanics. This video is for educational purposes only. And of course, you will find bbdoc file in description. In this video, I am not going to show how to make this from scratch, but showing already made game assets, nodes, etc. And we must discuss Buildbox current limitations. Progress bar looks in Buildbox better though. But adding a trailer scale animation, oh boy, you don't want even to know. But let's discuss these later. Right now, enjoy side by side comparison. I don't want to be a sweet lemonade. I don't want to quench the thirst when you got the creep. I'm not posters on your wall. I'm a human after all. For this game, we need three different nodes and one asset. Progress bar with different level distance by particles. This asset goes to world UI. Next, background color animation node by Punk Puffin. This node goes to each scene. Next, function over time animation node also made by Punk Puffin. And finally, Oscillate Node, made by LBPTOO. This is Mind Map, quite minimalistic. This is invisible asset, which changes character's color. It is placed beginning of each scene. Physics is static. If collide affected asset is character. And this is modified color node. I ask help in Discord server. And fast effect gave me short and elegant code solution. I tweaked it a little bit but all credits to him. It sends set color command to character asset. In world settings, gravity is minus 50. Adding threshold is zero because we don't want to see objects from next scene. Camera follow force is one only in x-axis. Here we have node, which changes background color, gradually. Just plug in and play. Let's look inside this asset. Oh boy, JavaScript. Let's close it. This is our deadline. Pass it, and you shall die. Its node map looks exactly like death. I have pinned nodes variables. So I can set each asset color, speed, rotation, points, or whatever, individually. Here you can see typical ground asset setup. These set color nodes are not modified. But color is pinned. Threshold node is needed, so you can collect points only once, if colliding.
Here you can see oscillate node. Allows you to set a range of rotation. Oh boy, let's close this long code. Points and color setup is same as in others ground asset. I made swing with two cubes and made them cylinders childs. Node map for swing cubes are quite simple. Only if collide node and set color node. But the trick is collision shapes. Swing cubes collision shape for if collide node must cover both sides. So, when colliding with it, whole swing changes color. For cylinder, I have two of collide nodes, left and right. These are connected with rotation animator node. And point node is separated with threshold node. are moving blocks using function over time node here sign function is for increasing and decreasing its value ground 2 node map looks almost same as grounds node map function over time node is only difference cubes just moves a little bit left and right and up and down. And here you see falling cubes. If collided with character, set physics as dynamic. And this is finished ground. When collided, level ends. End point is here. Here I tried to replicate scaling platform. So, I used wake up node. Distance is 900. It is connected with timer node. Interval is 0.5 seconds. And threshold is 15. And it spawns ground 5 asset. Receive node is for coloring this asset. Because character collides with ground 5 asset, not with this one. If this asset collides with dummy object, it stops. Connected with state machine and move node, which stops moving. And also wake up node is connected with state machine. With that, asset starts moving and spawning ground 5 asset creating an illusion, like it is scaling. And here is ground 5 node map. Setting color with send and receive nodes.
Here you can see invisible cylinder. Cubes are cylinder children. So if cylinder rotates, children rotates also. Cubes are using function over time node for rotation. Another use for function over time node, falling and rising wall. And finally, oscillate node. Middle one is parent. She have four children. Single mom, as some says. You can say I'm guilty, but I'm not. Take me on if you want to fight. Punch me hard, make it right. You can say I'm an idiot, full of myself. Well, I don't care what you say. Finally, let's peek into character's node map. I bet you didn't expect that kind of minimalistic view. Physics is dynamic, friction 20, and bounce is 0. And position factor Z is 0. Touch node is connected with state 1 input. And output is connected with move node, which stops characters moving on x-axis. Because when game starts, it activates touch node and shoots out pressed output signal. That is why we need state machine node. Y value must be empty. Or else, ball does not fall down. Released output is also connected with move node, which stops moving. And pressed output stage 3 is connected with move node. Again, Y value must be empty. If collide with dead asset and game over. You can't, you can't miss if collide with platform, jump. So, check your ground assets collision group. Must be platform. You can't, you and finally, if collide with finish ground asset, level completed. Make sure, level selector node is connected correctly. Now we need to set up progress bar. Go to UI and open progress asset. Here I changed Y position value to 0. Here you set up your scenes distances. It's very easy to add new scenes here. Level distance, multiply, 50. Here I show how to add new scene lines. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up a lot of friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just. Wanna. And I modified code a little bit. This line shows 100% at end of level. Have the time of our lives, the night is in. And this line shows how many percents of current level is done. We came to party all night long, and we don't need no Here are current level number and what's next. And let's move on. We came to party all night long.
This box is a JavaScript, which displays text. Asset name is, level done. I made this, by using progress bar asset. It displays, what level you just completed. Now problems. Problem number one, trail node. It does not work while jumping. Here, take a look. What is this? I see disappointment here. But what I don't see is particles node. Second problem is scaling animations. There is a rebuild function which rebuilds collision shape. But it only rebuilds start collision shape. Every if collide node makes its own collision shape. And those ones does not get rebuilded. This is major problem. If collide interactions are crucial. It makes scale animation node kinda pointless. Only for visual effects. Everything else is fine. So yeah, you don't need Unity to make games like this. Buildbox 3 is pretty powerful. Especially when using custom nodes. Subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching.